Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Small Talk Arkansas. We are here another day, y'all. Another day. This is episode three, yes. third day in a row. Yes, third time's a charm. Wednesday, April the 1st. April we, Fool's Day. April Fool's. Happy April Fool's Days. Guys, it's about 10, 15 a.m. right now, and uh, we're, we're ready. We're excited to do this third, third episode. We are. Uh, we're coming to you from the Coronacation Kitchen Table Studio. Yes, we are. Here we are. Again. Again, back Another and day. back. Yes, we are. Because we're staying. The fuck home. The fuck home. We're staying the fuck home. This is the studio. This, this is, is where it. we are. This mm-hmm. is it. We, you know, we'd like to take this show on the road, but uh, we, we don't want to. No, not right now. Not during uh, Coronacation. Not during Coronacation. So uh, a lot of get to get into today. Yeah, uh, I'm we, super excited about today's show. We tell, tell us about what's going on in we today's show. We have a super special guest, um, my very good friend, Shannon Craig. She is a holistic health and fitness coach, and she we're going to be discussing living that social distancing life. How to live the she's social give us some distancing tips. life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I know she's got some good ones. Um, and shit we're into coming up later on. Every every day, every segment, uh-huh. every show. You know what we're going to be talking about? What are we going to talk about? Tea. We're talking about tea? We're talking about tea. How uh, how could they have guessed? I know, they right? They probably could not have guessed that. They could from, not have. From uh, the, what we have on the table today. It's true. All right. Yep. Cool. So I'm pumped about it. Yeah. Let's jump into the news right now. Uh, kind of go through the, the stats that have been updated in the last 24 hours. Um, getting back to let's let's talk about the Arkansas. So positive cases of uh, Corona in Arkansas today, this morning, as of 8 a.m. this morning, the stats were 564 positive cases. So that's up 56 cases from yesterday. Uh, 508 is what we reported yesterday at Showtime, which was a 59 uh, positive increase from the day before. So we're staying right there in that in in this week from what we've seen, uh, 55 to 60 uh, new cases per day found in, in Arkansas right now. Uh, we did have another death overnight uh, since Showtime yesterday. We had seven yesterday, and, and we're to eight today. Um, hate hate to hear that. There's it's never n- good news to announce. No, there's more news that's come out regarding the death over the weekend. Um, I believe the she was 42 years old. Yeah, I saw that. And, I saw that. Uh, I think her sister said she was a respiratory therapist. The sister was and sister's- was like, "Girl, get to the ER." Yeah, but she was like, uh, before this, you know, just literally her her sister became ill, mm-hmm. and kind of three days later, that that was it. Yeah, and, and her sister had no, she had no underlying medical conditions at all. Nothing. That was her first hospital stay. So this is not just affecting seventy plus. No, um, this is affecting everybody. It is, and um, you, you take somebody that's forty-two years old that's here today, living a great life, and three days later, um, they're not, and that's that's how serious this that's is. The gravity of the situation that we're talking about, and like it's, that's you know, you've got to take it seriously. Which is why we're staying the fuck home. That's why we're here. Yep. So in the U.S., uh, the last twenty-four hours. Um, the, the data went from 164,000 cases to 189,000 cases, uh, literally, you know, overnight. It's a 24,000, almost a 25,000 jump in one 24-hour period of time. That's like a small town. It's 1,000 people per hour. Dang. Testing positive. Man. So, you know, where, where is that going to go when, mm-hmm. when they're saying we're going to peak in two to three weeks? And keep in mind, guys, these these testing results are low because just like in Arkansas and several other states, they're still not doing a lot of testing. I mean, yeah, you know, they're not testing everybody that's got some symptoms. Like they have to prove that you've maybe been around someone or something like that. Like and, it's, and I know a lot of that's probably because a testing supplies are limited. Right. Um, you know, they really want to, you know, make sure that if they are going to go test somebody, there's a, a high probability that they've got it, not just a common cold or um, exactly the, the the flu or something to that de- that that nature. But mm-hmm. um, you know, it's not 
the, these numbers that we're seeing in positive cases don't really at all reflect the actual what's really going statistics. on. Statistics, yeah. I mean, these are the numbers that we've got. That's right. So going back, and all of these statistics that I'm giving you right now came from the U.S. Department of Health. I will put the link to that in the comment section below, and I'll show you the map as, as we do every day. In the U.S., uh, in the last 24 hours, there's been a little over 4,000, 4,081 uh, total deaths now. So that was 911 additional uh, in, in the last 24 hours. So that's I mean, we're, we're, we're hitting really close to that 1,000 people per day. Um, you know, if you go, all right, this is going to go on for another 21, 28 days at a thousand people per day. Of course, it's gonna, it's just gonna, it's gonna keep build going. yeah. and build and build. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to see a thousand people a day. We don't want to see that get to 10,000 people a day. And that's why people should be staying home right now, really right. limiting their, their contact, uh, with others. Looking at Arkansas a little bit more, uh, we, we take a look at this on a daily basis of, of what's the saturation of, of by county by county in the state. And in Pulaski, we did break that 100 uh, yesterday. We, we were, um, Pulaski County was still the top in the, the state with right. 98 mm -hmm. cases. Overnight, we, we, we got broke 100. Digits. We're 103 right now in Pulaski County. The, the Department of Health also re They kind of readjusted, didn't they? They adjusted their categories or, or their uh, tiers, as I call them, uh, of how many cases are in each tier. Yesterday, a tier five was 20 plus cases in any county. And mm -hmm. there were eight counties that had that. Today, tier five has adjusted to 75 plus cases in a county. So the chart that we put up today is going to look a little different than yesterday's, it's, but it's definitely going to look different in, um, you know, Pulaski County is the single mm -hmm. section in the state. It's got more than the, 75 right, cases. Right. So looking at tier four now, uh, tier four is 20 to 74. So those are the numbers that were, were technically 20 plus was tier five yesterday. But today, tier four is 20 plus. Yesterday, gotcha. there were eight in there. Today, there's eight in there. Um, and, and it's, you know, I had to look at the data because there's two new counties on there, ah. uh, Washington mm -hmm. and, and Crittenden. Mm -hmm. So you go, well, how did we stay at eight? At eight counties. And, you know, I looked at the, the numbers a little more and Van Buren fell out. So Van Buren yesterday had 20 and today there were only 19. So I don't know if there was a, if there was a death. Is, in, yeah, is in that Van where Buren. the death we had was? It, I'm not entirely sure. That might be. The, the, the Department of Health's map that they put out doesn't show deaths by county. Or does that, or could that be a cured person? Could it be cured? Could It, you know, it still know. would have been a positive test. That posi that's true. So, that's true. you know, could it have been a, a false positive yep. that they retested and, and there, you know, there was no sign? Um, or was it a death? We don't know. Don't know. Not sure. On that, you had some information, a story that you read um, about the Claiborne County uh, epidemic. Yes, the Claiborne County epidemic, uh, because per capita, or, you know, per their population, they have more um, positive cases than the rest of the counties, even though Pulaski is the highest. Um, you know, Claiborne's at 61 today. Yeah, I mean, they're they're not too far behind if you think about it. I mean, and they're that the is, second highest in the state. Gotcha. That is because there was this church function this children's church weekend or something that they were doing and all the people went and like half of i don't know like 30 or something tested positive positive. and those are the only, only the people that have actually tested they're not testing everyone that went there so um so that number could be could be much greater it could than that. it could be much greater than that but um, that just goes you know i i think we've the seen social if, distancing y'all you've watched over the country you've seen you know these church functions that continue to happen um you know sometimes they're for a funeral mm -hmm. sometimes they're you know for there was a choir practice that i saw in washington mm -hmm. um yesterday there was a, a choir practice that occurred you know a couple of weeks ago and they kind of went against the, the state's regulations, regulations yeah. to, Hey, stay at home. If you know, and, and, and the church oh. said, Hey, let's do this choir practice. And now I think, uh, I don't know what the number was exactly, but it was a high number of the folks that were already attended that choir practice that are now dead. Wow. 
Um, so it's just wild. You know, those are the things, guys. Uh, I that's, mean, that's why we're here. It's true. We have technology today. We've got our cell phones. We've got cameras on them. We can FaceTime. We can do video chats. We can Zoom into these things. We can do all Skype. Yesterday, you know? we didn't bring you numbers, uh, U.S. numbers. We didn't bring those to you because it hadn't been updated since our, our show on, on Monday. Um, it was updated yesterday afternoon. So these technically, these these U.S. numbers that I, I'm going to give you here, and I'll, we'll, we'll put the link in the description below again, and we'll show you this, this data uh, in a map. But Look at New York. Uh, New York is still, by by all means, the epicenter in right. the U.S. There's 75,795 positives in, in New York. That, you know, that is... That's a not-so-small town. <laughs> that is 10 times the number in any other, in any other state. So mm -hmm. even you take California, that's a massive state. There's only 7,500 cases in California. Wow. Where there's 76,000 in New York. And that's... So, you know, those numbers, it, 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 it's also the same perspective on deaths. Yeah. You look at um, New York has 1,550 deaths where California has 150. Wow. You know, another state that has a lot of deaths right now. And, and wanna, we, we want to talk about kind of where the, the number one state in the U.S. right now with positive cases and the death rate is New York. That's mm -hmm. by, it's by far the epicenter. And California has 7,500 cases, roughly. That is, you know, second state in the country right now as far as positive cases. They only have 150 deaths for all of those positives, which, you know, so, so folks in California are doing pretty well at getting over this. Right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, not dying right now. Texas, you know, uh, we're talking about bordering states. Uh, Texas has 3,400 cases. Yesterday they had, or, or say Monday, uh, they had 2,300 so you see 11, that's a, 1,200. That's a big jump. Jump overnight. And, and of course, Texas is another large state, has very large cities, lots right. of population. Uh, but Texas is up to 50 on on the death rate where they were 34 on Monday. So uh, that, you know, the slight jump Those there. Those numbers are kind of climbing. Mm -hmm. Other states that touch us, Louisiana, we know what the pan pandemic is doing there. And, and, and let me... Give you once I, I tell you these numbers, you're going to, you know, went from 3,500 on our Monday show to the data that came out. We're, we're giving the data from Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. The data Tuesday afternoon was 5,200. Wow. 5,200 cases in Louisiana from 3,500. That's like 2,000. 2,000 wow. in a day. And here's the more scary thing about Louisiana is there's 151 deaths there. On Monday in the data, mm -hmm. Tuesday afternoon's data shows 239. Wow, that's almost 100. That's, that's 80 people yeah. at, at, you know, in, in one 24-hour period of time. You know, guys, we haven't seen that many deaths in Arkansas since this has began. Right. But this this is to show us if, if we don't do the social distancing, if we don't do, if we don't, if we don't act now, these this, this is what's what it, completely possible. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Other states uh, around us, uh, the tier four, and that's that that upper range on the map that that you'll look at when I put it up on the screen. Uh, New York, California, Texas, Louisiana are all in that tier four. Tennessee made tier four. It was tier three Monday. Right. Mm -hmm. It's now mm -hmm. tier four. They jumped up. They've got two thousand forty one cases and mm -hmm. fourteen deaths in 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 Tennessee. So. Uh, you know, those are the surrounding states. Missouri is is a tier three state now. Mm -hmm. They now have 1,100 cases mm -hmm. uh, where they had 900 on Monday. So they had a 200 case jump in in, in a 24-hour period of time. Tier two, we've still got Mississippi, Oklahoma, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. we're, we're all in that tier two range. Mississippi leads that with 937 cases, uh, while Oklahoma and Arkansas are neck and neck. 564, 566, mm -hmm. but Oklahoma has twice as many deaths as we have. So Oklahoma's huh. reporting 23 deaths where Arkansas is still eight. eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I guess a lot of the folks that are, are, have been tested in Arkansas that are positive are recovering. And those well, are good signs. Th that is a good sign. That absolutely is a good sign. So that wraps up uh, the Corona news that we have. 
Uh, other news that we have that's going on today in the state, uh, first and foremost, Amazon has is, is announced that they're going to open a second Little Rock Distribution Center or Central Arkansas Distribution Center. They already have one in North Little Rock, but they're opening a second one in North or in Little Rock off of I-30. It's the old jacuzzi facility. It's the kind of cross from Bass Pro Shop, if yeah. you, you know where that is. Yeah. Um, they're opening a facility. No real stats on or time when that'll be open. Uh, mm -hmm. But it but looks like it happen. Amazon is, is going, they said that they're not going to close down the first one. So hopefully they're going to, you know, th this is. They're ramping it up. Amazon's ramping it up. In, well, that's in, some good business news. In central Arkansas. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, so other things with, with today is April Fool's Day. Um, you know, a lot of people are going, hey, it's, it's Corona-cation. Uh -huh. Just don't do it. It's not funny. They're not the pranks aren't funny today uh -huh. uh, because uh -huh. of the severity of everything else that's right. going on in right, the world. Right. And, and I, I think that might be somewhat true. Depends mm -hmm. on how far you take them. Mm -hmm. um, as with any good prank, it depends on how far you take uh -huh. it. We I feel like I need to be watching it. Don't like need all to day. get anybody like, hurt. But be on edge. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> one of the things, and this this is a funny one. Um, uh, someone went out and swapped out all the photos in uh, the photo frames that were around the house with just random photos. So clip photos out of magazines, celebrities, this oh, that's, kind of stuff. that's good. That's good. And then ask their mom, hey, mom, what the heck? You know what? Why, why is Brad Pitt on the mantle? Why is Brad Pitt on the mantle? <laughs> what what happened overnight that you're not telling the rest of us? So, you know, that I thought that was funny. That's good. Um, That's so just good. Just swapping out people's photos. Um, another one that I, I think is kind of interesting is, you know, the, when you're texting somebody and you get the little dot, 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 uh -huh. dot, that, uh -huh. they're, they're, that texting. they're texting you. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're sitting there waiting for the reply, waiting uh -huh. for the reply. Uh -huh. So uh, an April 1st one is to, you know, leave that going as long as you possibly can to as many people as you can. Oh, nice. So, nice. so they're just waiting in anticipation. Like what? Huh? Come on. Kind of mean. Kind of mean. Yeah. That is a little mean. Um, here was one I thought was was funny is subscribe some friends to some mailing list. So that's some genius, complete off the wall mailing list. Of course, they're going to get the little email going, Hey, do you, hey, do you, you've, you've, subscribed you've subscribed to this. To this. Do you uh -huh. want to opt in, uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, you know, confirm your email. Mm -hmm. That's what all the lists do anymore. I mean, but, but still, you know, yeah. Uh, still, some of the ones is raising chickens, yes. um, community chickens, uh -huh. chicken secrets, uh -huh. <laughs> Chicken secrets. You, chicken secrets. You have subscribed uh -huh. to, to the chicken, chicken secret, secrets uh -huh. Uh -huh. mailing list. Like now, I'm curious. What are the chicken secrets? I bet you are. I bet you are. <laughs> I'll, I'll subscribe you to that later. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm finding it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if you guys like what you're hearing and uh, you're enjoying our show, why don't you help us out and subscribe to our channel? We sure would appreciate it. And um, next up, I think we've got our special guest coming, don't we? We do. We've got Shannon. And, and Shannon. Guys, so Shannon has is, is got so much energy and is absolutely one of the nicest people I've ever met. And I, I met her through Tess, and Shannon's remarkable. She's and badass. Can't I just love wait her. for you all to, to, to meet her if you don't know her already. Mm -hmm. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Tess. How are you, Shannon? I'm doing well. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for being with awesome. us today. Yeah, you bet. I'm excited to hang with you guys. If I can't see you, at least we can chat. I know, right? Oh, yeah. I miss my Shannon. Oh, I know. I miss, I miss you too. I miss oh, all my peeps. I know. Well, <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm great. Uh, we are just kind of, everybody is in their assigned space. <laughs> Doing um, doing their new thing here at home, so um, we're starting to kind of settle into the new schedule and routine that we've got going. Oh, how's that going? Everybody adjusting well? Yeah, everyone seems to be doing well with it. Um, it's definitely a new norm, but one that, honestly, I'm kind of selfishly enjoying having all my people close and... Uh -huh. um, so it's been it's been really nice um, in some you know in some places and then um, a little bit more difficult and challenging in others. But as a whole, we're we're 
we're just doing what we can, you know? That's awesome. Well, that's good. Yeah. That is so good. Well, how about sure. you guys? I mean, we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Good. Yeah. We're doing yeah. good. We're putting it all out there. So if you've watched our podcast, you know, it's a challenging day to day. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're, we're learning new things every day. <laughs> right. Forever student. That's what uh-huh. I like to say. That's true. That is so true. Well, we sure appreciate you being here today. Um, and, you know, it sounds like you guys are learning how to live your best lives during these challenging times. So how, how are you doing that? How can, <laughs> and how can we learn to live our best lives during these times, this crazy right. time? Right, yeah. The million-dollar question, huh? Sh- um, Shannon, let's back up just oh. a second. Tell, tell us about yourself. Oh, tell us what so you right. do. Oh, my God, tell I us, just went into Tell it. us who I, you are. You I know? assumed everybody <laughs> knows you just like I do. <laughs> I know, right? Like, (laughs) yeah. Okay. So I'm going to act like you do not know me for a second. But yeah, so I'm Shannon Craig and I am a um, certified holistic health coach, um, wellness coach, life coach, um, fitness coach. I train um, with TRX straps and a lot of body resistance training and bands and things like that. So just in that health and wellness space, really. Went to the Institute for Integrative Nutrition uh, back in 2016, studied nutrition in college. It's just kind of always been a passion of mine. But really and truly, I um, I tend to lean more towards the holistic approach to health, which is encompassing everything that um, creates better health and well-being in our bodies and our mind and our soul. So I'm really passionate about that part of being and staying healthy. So I do one-on-one health coaching. I also do some personal training and um, a little bit of group training and things like that. So in a nutshell, that's kind of what I do. I'm also a mom. I have two kiddos and I've been married to um, my husband, Tim, for going on 19 years now. So to summarize, Shannon and Craig, I guess that would probably be it. Fantastic. Oh, yes. And kind of in a nutshell, when, when your your mind is right, your body is right, we're, we're kind of right for life every day. We're living our best lives. When our mind is in the right place, our body's in the right place, uh, that, that helps get us there, gets us through challenges. It all works together, right? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I do feel like the mind is so powerful and we just have that constant dialogue with ourselves every day, all day, more than we even realize. So I really encourage, you know, myself as well as um, everyone that I can to focus on what we can control. Um, and a lot of that is that internal dialogue. So I'm trying to focus myself on just really thinking about the words that I'm choosing, especially in this situation. Um, and it just helps my central nervous system when you know when you think about saying even with social distancing like I've tried to catch myself and switch that to physical distancing so I'm just a social person I enjoy socializing Mm -hmm. and so I really don't want to take on the mindset of I'm having to socially distance Distance from everything and everyone and it's more of a physical distancing which sounds better to me it really does Um, that's a really good way to put that yeah so it's little things like that that you know if we can kind of get that routine of just being more mindful of the verbiage that we use what we're eating how we're sleeping maintaining relationships um and and focusing on as much positive as we can so that just you know, we, we want to really control our central nervous system. We don't want to be anxious all day, every day. Uh, it creates stress eating. It's just we don't sleep as well. So all those major factors that control our health and well-being, we start to affect. That's, and I think it starts a lot with the, with the mindset. Yeah, the stress makes you old really fast, makes you, makes you right? fall apart physically, makes mm-hmm. you fall, you know, your life, your, your health definitely can't, can't go up if, if you're stressful every day. We can't go get Botox right now. We got to really <laughs> <laughs> start to really pop out. I know. Um, <laughs> we got to do everything we can to maintain. <laughs> <laughs> well, face massage, all that good stuff. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's so true. So, yeah. Oh, well, those, that is really awesome. Some little positive self-talk then. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
just always staying aware of um, of what we're saying to ourselves and to our loved ones. So it, it does help and it does make a difference. So, you know, honestly, to answer your questions as to how we're kind of fit into this new routine <clears throat> and kind of calling it the Rona routine. Um, <laughs> that's good. That's just, that's just kind of, I got to try to put some kind of little comical spin on it just to stay sane. But um, there are a few things that I have noticed us doing here just in my immediate family of trying to keep some kind of normalcy um, within, you know, these four walls. I do. I do tend to kind of lean into the fact that we become a product of our environment sometimes without even realizing it. So just trying to keep a positive environment within our home um, has helped, I think, all of us feel a little bit more calm and at ease. And so just getting up and um, getting our day started. And, you know, I've also found myself sleeping a little bit later and allowing myself to do that. Um, mm-hmm. so instead of getting up maybe at five to 30 to start my routine, I've pushed it back maybe to six thirty or so. Um, wow. so having grace there to play with the new, well, with the new, you know, treating your body um, right with a little extra sleep, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, um, that's pretty much where I'm at on the mental side of so this. That's good. But you're still keeping up your routine and well, creating a new one. And that's sort of what Jenny was talking about, um, the other day. So that's kind of cool with, you know? Yeah. I think that. Um, seems to be a common denominator and I, and I love that. I'm hearing a lot of people talk about their new routines and um, I just kind of think that that's healthy to stay in a place of continuing to be motivated and, and getting up and, and having things that you kind of like. I'm a, I'm a lister, so I like to have a little list and check things off and um, that just kind of feels good to me. Right. So I've noticed that other people are falling into that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, I know you're also big into fitness, and um, so how are you staying fit during these times and encouraging other people to do that, too? Yeah, so um, that's been really hard for me because I love to train my people, um, and, I, and I like to have that interaction. So uh, for me, really honestly, I have been doing a lot of walking. We mm-hmm. have been blessed with some really amazing weather here in Little Rock, Arkansas. I mean, when it's not raining, mm-hmm. it's just fabulous. So getting out and walking has been huge for all of us, honestly. Um, my oldest daughter's been doing the same, getting up and walking the dogs in the mornings. And so it just feels great to get outside and be with nature. Um, so I've been doing that. I'm, you know, I'm fortunate enough to kind of have equipment since I train. So mm-hmm. I'm still trying to do things at home with the bands and, um, and things like that. So just keeping your body moving. I mean, honestly, there's so many things we can do, <clears throat> excuse me, with our own body weight that it's just endless. Um, you know, just using your own body and what do you have around the house to stay active? I encourage everyone to keep moving. It's certainly one of those things that it's, it's real easy during this, you know, this Rona situation to go, you know what, I'm just going to sit on the couch. I'm going to watch Netflix all day and this, this will pass and kind of, you know, whether that is going into some sort of depression because of what's going on. But realistically, if they are getting up every day, you know, from what I'm hearing you say, get up every day, start your routine, do your routine, keep a positive attitude, do a little exercise. And that exercise creates those endorphins that, you know, makes you feel better, um, certainly keeps you healthier. And, and, and we've got the time to do it. So whether those are push ups, uh, sit ups, whatever other body Uh, I mean, there's tons of stuff out there, whether all the free apps and free classes right now that people are putting out for, for stay at home workouts, you don't need equipment to, to get active. Right. Yeah. No, I think that's a very great point, Jason. And I hope that people hear that because I do want to encourage everyone that, you know, that's a real thing. Just releasing those endorphins, those feel good um, hormones. It, it does make a difference. And so, you know, honestly, if I were going to summarize how I'm trying to keep, you know, up with any kind of normal routine and especially focus on my health, well-being, my immune system, it would be, you know, if I could just list a few things, it would be absolutely get up and get active. So just go ahead, knock it out first thing if you don't have anything else you have to do. So whether that's go for a walk, do 20 air squats, 20 push-ups, 20 lunges, I mean, whatever that may be, mm-hmm. start with a ginormous glass of water. I would encourage everyone to wake up, have some water, wake up your metabolism, 
flush out any toxins that you're holding on to. Um, try to look at your plate with every meal. Like I really try to encourage myself to have something on my plate with every meal that offers nutrition. And, you know, we learned this terminology in integrative in nutrition of just crowding out. So we just want to take up real estate uh, with the healthy things first. So just try to get in fruits, vegetables, fiber, um, you know, all those healthy things that have lots of fun colors to them. Eating that on your plate first, trying to make sure when you look at your plate, do you see something that is going to actually fuel you with um, some kind of beneficial nutrition? Um, switch out any kind of cola or alcohol for maybe some tea throughout the day. Um, we might be tending to lean on some substances right now for numbing devices. But I really want to encourage people to try to just stay strong in that mindset of continuing to stay active um, and not assuming every day is a Friday or Saturday. Right. So, um, you know, and then just rest. Sleep so important right now for our immune system and for our well-being. So um, those are just a few things that I would want to encourage everybody to try to stay on track with, um, just to feel good, you know, and um, when you feel good, you just you just seem to stay more positive about life. Right. Absolutely. So yeah. from a nutrition standpoint, you, you mentioned, you know, nutrition and putting the, the colorful things on your plate. Are there some things right now that, you you know, we should be eating more for immune boosters? Is, is there food out there that you're aware of, things that we should absolutely make sure are within our diet? Yeah. <clears throat> so I do try to focus more right now. Uh, foods that offer like probiotic and prebiotic benefits, you know, and, and just keeping our gut healthy is so important right now to boost our immune system. Uh, so, you know, for example, probiotic foods would be things like yogurt or kombucha, pickled mm-hmm. veggies, um, kraut, kimchi, things like that are mm-hmm. just fermented foods are so good right now for your, for your gut. And, just a natural way to gain more probiotics and then um, for to keep your, your um, gut microbiome healthy and strong and thriving. But prebiotics are something too that we can help um, service our body. Just bananas, oatmeal, asparagus, you know, maple syrup, legumes are a great source of prebiotics. Um, adding onions to your meal, things like that. And then just high fiber foods. Mm-hmm. I mean, fibrous foods, A, they're going to keep you um, satiated longer. You're going to feel full. Mm-hmm. So not so much snacking and grabbing foods, mindless eating. Um, the more fiber that we get with every meal, the longer we feel that full feeling within our um, within our bodies. So that's nice. Um, raspberries are a great source. All the berries, but really bra- raspberries kind of win that race. Um, dark colored veggies, so beets, broccoli, collard greens. Um, sweet potatoes are great fibrous food, whole grains. Um, I like sprouted whole grains, um, mm-hmm. the lentils, the nuts, the seeds, things like that. <clears throat> so I think that if we can keep our bodies in that place of really feeling like we're, you know, food is medicine. I believe that wholeheartedly. Right. It is. So, um, yeah, staying on top of that. And then again, just stay hydrated, you know. We just want to give our bodies every chance that we can right now to stay healthy and out of um, unnecessary doctor visits and things like that. Right, you are. So you sent yeah. us a chart, Shannon, of, and, and I wanted to be able to touch on this for a minute. Can, can you talk about this chart? We're going to show it to everybody for, um, that's watching. We'll put it up on the screen. But tell us a little bit about this wheel that you sent us. Yeah, so the wheel represents uh, all the things in life that create um, – just create more joy, more happiness, and ultimately more balance. So we want to try to stay balanced in all these categories and feed them all equally. Uh, you know, sometimes people tend to get so wrapped up in what they're eating and moving that they forget all the other aspects that create that overall, um, you know, wellness um, within ourselves, mind, body, soul kind of wellness. So uh, on the chart that you'll see, it's if you'll just put a dot like on the line, so uh, let's use, um, I'm not looking at the chart right now, but let's just say um, relationship, career, financials. I know all those are on that chart. Mm-hmm. So if you, the more in you go to the center, that's like you do not feel satisfied in that category. 
if you if you place the dot all the way on the outside of the circle, you feel pretty satisfied with where you're at in that category. Mm-hmm. So just placing a dot within each of those little pieces of the pie and then connect all the dots and you'll see kind of where in a graph form you're dipping. So anywhere that you have dipped down closer to that inner circle, I just encourage you to kind of make focus on how you can move that dot up the line towards the outside of that circumference. So, so you want your wheel um, to be even, right? Yeah, we want to keep the wheel even, feeling like we are, you know, giving attention to all of the aspects of our of our life. So not just focusing so much on one and, and leaving the others out to dry because that really does um, affect our overall health more than we realize. Um, you know, if our relationships are poor, then you don't even realize that's creating stress and dis-ease in the body. Um, the same with your finances or, or if you're unhappy with what you're doing in your job, things like that. Uh, so just really trying to keep all those dots as close to that outside edge as we can. And in every maybe quarter, just check in with that chart. Like, where am I here? Ooh, I'm not doing too hot in this department. So really kind of maybe even put more focus on that to expand it out to feel like you're more fulfilled in that department um, in that category of your life. So, um, just creating balance, you know, in, in nutrition school, we learned about primary foods, which we would normally think is like the foods that we take in and, you know, and digest, but really we want to look at as a holistic health coach, um, and anyone taking the holistic approach to health in general, the primary foods being all of the other things. So the secondary food being the food that we chew, but primarily looking into, you know, more depth, like where, where am I with all of the other things that are listed on that chart, you know, and, and when you feel better about those things, you tend to want to take better care of your body in the way that you feel it. So when we find ourselves depressed in one area, we tend to lean into food or, or another substance to fix it. But when we kind of take into account the other things um, and feel good there, then we we want we want to feel our bodies better. We feel better, right. so we make better choices. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, it does. It does. It absolutely does. That's a cool representation. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, it's just great. Tool. I heard somebody talking about this tool in the fact of it kind of being a tire, and once you go put your dots and you draw your, you connect your dots, you see your flat spots. You see where your tire is flat. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and you don't necessarily have to work on, hey, let's get all of these things, you know, the furthest thing. I mean, obviously, you want them to be as far out. You want your tire to be as full of air as possible. But work on those flat areas to at least bring them up to equal to the other dots first to begin to at least have a tire. You've got a wheel. You've got something you can yeah, travel you on. Can you've, got, on. <laughs> you've got a balance. And then make that tire bigger and bigger and, and, and as you can uh, through your, you know, through this process. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, I don't want it to create um, frustration. I mean, it's normal for us to be kind of in that constant pendulum to where, we put focus over here, so over there is not getting as much. But just swing back. You know, this this is nothing more than a tool to just kind of keep us in that constant mindset of checking in with ourselves. Yeah. So it's okay to dip and to swing over, you know, to the right, but then just come back over. So don't stay stagnant in one spot, one spot of your life. Um, just and spread check the love. in with the other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love the tire analogy. That's a good one, too. Oh, that's so cool. Well, we sort of touched on it a minute ago, um, a little bit, but would you like to hang out for uh, shit we're into? Because we're talking about one of our favorite things, which is... Oh, yes. Absolutely. You ready for it? You ready for yeah, it? Yeah, girl. Uh, mm-hmm. We're talking about tea. About, I'm sorry. Tea. Again? Hot tea. Oh, girl, I'm about to sip on some right now. Oh, no. <laughs> we both have some. <laughs> what are you sipping on? Tell I us. am sipping on some jasmine green tea, and I mixed it with a rooibos um, reishi mushroom. Oh, girl. You're a mixer. Nice. Yeah. I'm a mixer. Uh-huh, I mix uh-huh. it. You got, you got a little <laughs> little mocktail going with your tea. I do. Mm-hmm, I do. I, mm-hmm. Sometimes I've even been known to mix my cereal on that girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we have been drinking tea for the, you know, we've been drinking it regularly for, for months, but definitely a lot since we've been home with chronication. And, and I thought it was interesting. We went, 
you know, we've been to Whole Foods, we've been to Target, we've been, you know, out, we've been shopping, Kroger, and it seems like every time if we go down the, the coffee or tea aisle, we're going to buy another coffee or tea. You can see lots of them. Yeah, um, we've got a whole in, collection in our studio going. right now. <laughs> but one that's very interesting to me and that, you know, I, I, I don't read the boxes in the store. Um, I'm guilty. I, I look at the packaging and I saw this one. This is a, a traditional medicine, uh, medicinals, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's uh, a cup of sunshine. And I was like, man. Who doesn't need a cup of sunshine? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I oh, yeah. absolutely need a cup of sunshine. Um, and, mm -hmm. and so came home, made one, and uh, it's it's got Kana in it, which it says promotes good mood. But we began to look at this a little bit further and, and do a little more research. But I'll read to you here. This is what's on the back of the box. And, and to me, this was <laughs> just, I'm like, all right, I don't know who the writer is that wrote this, but they just took me way out of my home. And, you know, now I'm somewhere else for sure in my mind. It's, <laughs> Kana has mood lifting benefits that make any day feel like a sunny afternoon at the beach. Who doesn't, you know, who doesn't want that? Wow. A cup of sunshine reassures you that every little thing's going to be all right. Oh, so tested a what? little more research on Kana. I did. And it's like a, it's nature's Prozac. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. I know. I like, it. like it's, Really pretty cool little herb. Like I think they've mixed it with like a um, like a honey bush tea. But um, I mean, it just the research that I did on it. It was like, oh yeah, it absolutely does mood lifting and all of that. And all these blogs are calling it nature's Prozac and all that. Um, oh, so nice. It's, you know, it's so fun how we have been provided things like that. All these herbs and um, it's just it's interesting to me. Still, and I, this is what I do. I mean, I, I geek out on things like that, but there's still so many that, I, that I'm sure I have no idea are out there to offer such benefits as a sunny day at the beach. Um, oh, you got to get some cup of sunshine, girl. Well, this, girl, I need some cup of sunshine for sure. This is Kana, K A N N A. And when, you know, had no idea about it before we brought this tea home and, and made a cup of it and began to really read the, the box. But then, you know, of course, Tess went to the Google. Yeah, I you know, did. Because the, the, oh, the Google knows the Google. All. That's what I do. The Google keeps their sanity too. I know. I like it's the true. Google. It's and, true. And when you Google the Kana, uh, mm -hmm. immediately it comes up that this is this is this is the, an herbal Prozac. It's the shit. Like it's. I mean, so so does it work? So we're like with everything that's going on uh -huh. right now in the, the we're gonna get a cup you know, of that sunshine. Corona. Who does not need some <laughs> mm -hmm. some herbal Prozac? I know. It's true. I mean, you get a cup of Kana. Mm -hmm. You get a cup of Kana. <laughs> and you get a cup of Kana. Everybody, <laughs> everybody. Kana for everybody. <laughs> Just Kana, call me Kana crazy. I know, <laughs> it's true. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. I uh, look it. good for y'all. And, you know, another one um, which has been researched and, and kind of studied as a natural Xanax, Prozac, whatever you choose, is um, magnesium. So I've really been encouraging mm – -hmm. I got my kids on it while we're indoors so much. And, you know, it, it's just been proven to kind of even help with depression. And it's just a, a kind of a natural mood booster. But um, we're the four of us are all kind of really um, take in some magnesium around here. But um, just to throw another one out there. Yeah. So, no, that also you know, helps with sleep, right? Yeah, it's like a natural muscle relaxer. So we take it at night. I mean, yeah. I just, you know. It's just kind of one of the, they even have like magnesium flakes. You can take a bath in. I mean, there's mm -hmm. so many natural things out there that we can, you know, consume that are so much of a better, um, a better way to kind of address the, the problems that we have going on. So, um, tea is a great one. I mean, it's, uh, it's packed with antioxidants mm -hmm. and all kinds of nutritional things for our cells, but um, I'm glad to know that you guys, Keep me posted on that, Jason. Start reading the boxes from now on, okay? Like find it. I, I read. Some... I read them when I get them home. We just buy them when we're in the store. You know, you can't be in the store very long right now. So you go in and you no, just you're sweep, right. sweep a few into your buggy and move on. Yes, we're hauling it. Uh, that's awesome. I know. I know. Test shops like I do. A lot of that is um, with the eye first. 
Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it, guilty. Yeah, totally. Wait, wait guilty. until you see the what you know when we show the podcast. Wait till you see the her beauty teas that are on the yeah. table right uh-huh. now. Oh, Shannon knows them. <laughs> Pre- prettiest Shannon knows canisters them. in the uh-huh. prettiest canisters in the store. I know. Oh, they are though. I mean, look at this rose gold and this purple. Like I got oh, my beauty day and my beauty night tea. So all day, yes. all day. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is good stuff. I, I, I like sticking around it to see the bull. Well, we appreciate you sticking around, and I think that we are actually going to have you again tomorrow, right? Yeah, I think Tim and I might hop on. I mean, why not? We're just trying to figure out this whole a uh, couple coronas and what? Couple <laughs> 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 through Corona. Um, yes. Well, we, so are, be fun. we are really looking forward to that. So thank you so much for being on today. Yeah, you bet. We I really, really appreciate, appreciate it. you guys having me. That was fun. Oh, well, we'll talk to you soon. All right, y'all stay well. All right, Thanks. sounds good. You too. Bye. So what shit are you into right now? Please let us know in the comments below. Do you like tea? Do you, is there a tea that we need to try um, that, you know, we just have to have? Let us know. Um, but really, we want to know what other shit you're into. So post in the comments below. Yeah, and, and as you heard, Shannon is going to be back tomorrow with her husband, Tim. Her husband, Tim, is is in the financial world. He's working from home right now. So you've got two kids that go to school. Uh, you got Shannon You got that, that's usually active out and about, uh-huh. you know, at the uh-huh. gym, doing all, doing all the things with all the people. And she's at home. The kids are at home. Now Tim's at home, at home. working from home. Yeah. How do they make that work? Yeah. We're um, going to learn more about that So tomorrow. we're going to hear that. Family yeah. of four that used to go in four different ways, and now they're all confined. All under uh, one roof. In, in one roof and all having to, 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 to live together in, the, in that. So mm-hmm. great people. Um, we'll hear more about their story tomorrow. Yeah. Um, come back. Is there something that, that you want us to talk about? Is, is there, would you like to be on the show? Is there, as a, would you like to be a guest? Would you like to promo a product? Obviously no events are really going on unless you've got something going at your kitchen table that yeah. you could share with us. But <laughs> if you've got something that you could share with us or our listeners, we'd love to hear from you. Please contact us and let us know. Leave us a comment in in the comments section below, and we'd love to hear more from you. We would. So please help us out by subscribing to the channel. Press that like button on the video. Turn your notifications on. We we want you to hear that bell. Um, Share Small Talk Arkansas with your friends. And, uh, you know, remember, be safe. Stay the fuck home. Wash your damn hands. And thanks, everybody, for shooting the shit with us today. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.